Hello, um, welcome back to my channel. Is that a thing that people still say? That used to be a thing back in the day, is that still a thing? I don't know. Welcome back if you've been here before, if not, welcome to my channel. My name is Charlotte and today I thought I would do the booktube newbie tag because I am a booktube newbie and so it felt like the right tag to do. The clue is in the name, me and my Tim Hortons coffee are ready to go. So if you are unaware, the booktube newbie tag is basically just a tag to get to know the new booktuber. It's very sweet. Um, I've modified the tag slightly. I've added some of my own questions in. I've taken some out that I just didn't really want to answer. Um, so yeah, we have a modified booktube newbie tag. And the first question is, why did you start this channel? A classic first question. And the answer is FOMO, I guess. <laughs> Um, quite a few of my friends recently um, have started booktube accounts. So if you don't know, I run a bookstagram account. Um, I will link it in the description below. Um, and I've made loads of friends on there and a lot of them have started booktube accounts. And I was watching their videos and I was just like, I love editing videos. I love talking about books. So it makes sense to start a booktube channel. <laughs> so here I am and I'm very, very excited to be here. The second question is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? What a stressful question. Um, <laughs> my friend Andrew who has also just started a booktube account, he did this video recently and he compared this question to being in a job interview, you know when you get asked to like sell yourself for this job, why you'd be good for this job um, and I feel like that and I'm stressed. Um, I will tag Andrew down below if you don't follow him, you absolutely should, he is wonderful um, but he hit the nail on the head, I feel like I'm in an interview with this question. Um, new and exciting things I bring to booktube a ridiculous amount of Grishaverse knowledge, I guess. Um, if you don't know, the Grishaverse is my favourite fictional world. The Six of Crows duology is my favourite series of all time. Um, the show has just come out. It's on Netflix now. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's so good. Just defied expectations. I was so, so happy with it. Um, so yeah, I bring, I guess, quite a lot of Grishaverse knowledge um, and fantasy. I know quite a lot about fantasy books. Is that what this question is asking me to say? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I know a lot about the Grishaverse. So if you're here for that kind of content, then stick around. The next question is, what are you most excited for with this channel? Um, I really love editing videos. I think I prefer the editing process to the actual filming process. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, I just find it so fun. Not that you'd know, because I'm still not very good at it, but I'm getting better, I think. I'm learning new skills, that's exciting. That's a thing that we want to do in a pandemic, right? We're all learning new things. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just, it's a new new platform, is it? Something new to explore, a new way to talk about content. I love my Bookstagram account, I really do. It makes me so happy. But yeah, there are times when I want to be talking more and there's only so much that a story on Instagram can allow. And I don't really like IGTVs as a platform, so. I'm just happy to be here for that reason. YouTube is a lot more free and allows me to do a lot more things with my bookish chats. So yeah, there's a lot of things, a lot of things I'm excited for to be on YouTube. Very nervous. It's terrifying. YouTube is terrifying, but um, exciting. I'm happy to be here. The next question is, why do you love reading? The classic question that you get asked all the time when people find out that you're a reader. Um, escapism <laughs> I guess especially in a pandemic I think I like so many other people um have read so much more thanks to the pandemic for the last year and a bit um and it's been perfect escapism especially for someone who reads a lot of fantasy it's just nice to step back from this world and into another one for a little while um and also the friends that reading has brought me um I've met so many so many wonderful people through my bookstagram account but also just like back in the day when signings were a thing that happened. Um, meeting people in queues for signings and stuff was so much fun because you just know straight away that you've got at least one thing in common, which is a love for the author you're about to meet. So Brooks brings people together. What a lovely little tagline. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just love, I love reading. I love being in another world for a little while and stepping out of this one. So yes, escapism, one word answer to that question. <laughs> Next up is when did you start reading and what books got you into reading? So I didn't really read much as a child. I remember my mum and I reading The Magic Faraway Tree together when I was really young. 
but other than that I just didn't really like reading I didn't think it was cool because <laughs> that's what I cared about when I was a child I didn't think that reading was cool enough um, and then I started watching Carrie Hope Fletcher on YouTube and I thought she was wonderful and I still do she's a fantastic woman um, but she used to her channel used to be and actually is kind of looping back to that now was very book heavy and um, I just watched a lot of her videos and was like well if she likes reading maybe I will too <laughs> so then I gave it a go when I was about 14 and I read the Angel Trilogy by Ellie Weatherly and just fell in love with fantasy and then I read, well, I started the Shadowhunter Chronicles, which is a world that I'm still obsessed with today. Chain of Iron came out recently and I bought it on release day and I read it the next day. Still a Shadowhunter fan. How many years later? Eight years later. It's been a while. Um, yeah, so the Angel Trilogy by Ellie Weatherly and the Shadowhunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, obviously, um, are the books that got me into reading and from there... I have not stopped reading fantasy. I read other things, but it's mainly fantasy. Which actually, if I'm not wrong, the next question is, what kind of books do you like to read? Fantasy. Was it obvious? Was there a clue? Um, <laughs> I read predominantly YA and YA fantasy. Um, I've, I've, I say that, I've kind of branched out of YA a little bit recently. Um, I struggle to read YA in any other genre other than fantasy. Um, I just yeah I've read a few YA contemporaries recently and I've just realized that I've kind of it's not for me that much anymore but YA fantasy my fave um yeah anything magical fantastical I love makes me just as I said escapism is what I'm here for when I'm reading so fantasy is the way forward specifically the Grishaverse have I mentioned that I like the Grishaverse the next question is what are my favourite books? I've already mentioned them and that is the Grishaverse, the, specifically The Six of Crows Duology by Lee Bardigo. I love them so much. I recently hosted a readathon over on my bookstagram account for these two books in the lead up to the show which finished recently and it was so much fun introducing so many people to these books. I just had an absolute blast but yes this duology will always be my favourite. This book specifically, Cookie Kingdom, is my favourite book that I have ever read. I just, the characters, the world, so, so good. Um, but other than that, my favourite standalone is probably The Starless Sea. Do I have it around me? Yes, I do. The Starless Sea oh, by Erin Morgenstern um, is just... I described it in my um, review over on Bixgram as a fairy tale for adults and it's just so magical and so heartwarming and slightly bonkers but Erin Morgenstern's books always are. She's also written The Night Circus which is another favourite of mine. Um, I just love her writing and her books so very much. They just feel, as I said, like fairy tales for adults. They're wholesome and lovely and beautiful and magical and just brilliant and if you haven't read any of Erin Morgenstern's books I cannot recommend them enough. So yeah my favourite series is Six of Crows, my favourite standalone is The Starless Sea but two other honourable mentions are The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo which I read last year and fell completely and utterly in love with. It was my favourite read of 29... no 2020. We're in 2021 Charlotte. <sighs> Ouch. 2020... I got it wrong again. I panic. 2020 was last year and this was my favourite read of that year. I absolutely bloody love this book. It is so good. And then the other one that I just quickly want to mention is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Um, this is my most reread book of all time. I have reread it I think six times, possibly seven. Um, it is a YA contemporary romance set in Paris and it is just so lovely. It's just so lovely. And I'm not normally a romance reader, but um, I read this book when I was about 14 and I fell completely in love with it. It makes me so happy to return to Anna and Etienne's story. And then the last question of the Butchie Newbie tag is, what does your book collection look like? Here's a chunk of it. Oh, The House in the Cerulean Sea for favourite books. This one. This one too. It's so good. Um, but yes, this is what my book collection looks like. This is part of it. This is my uni house that I'm in at the moment. Um, and this is the shelf that's in my bedroom. I also have, I will post a photo here, the bookshelf downstairs in our lounge and also these shelves in my bedroom. Do I have a photo of those? There's a chance this will just be a blank screen but I have shelves in my bedroom at my family home as well. 
Um, I'm very excited to one day finally be able to have all my books in one space again because they're all very spread out at the moment. Um, but yeah, I have quite a few books and I'm not stopping anytime soon despite the fact that I cannot afford it and do not have space, I continue to buy books. Oops, I think we all, that's a common problem right for booktubers and bookstagrammers and book lovers in general. We all buy too many books. So yeah, that was the booktube newbie tag, just a bit of information about me, the kind of books that I read and the kind of books that I will probably be featuring quite heavily on this channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting this new fun adventure for me and my bookish ramblings.